Hey there, it's Andrew here. Hope you're all doing well. When I first started selling things online and jumping into the e-commerce space, I found it very hard to make a sale and my website design was absolutely terrible. Uh, all the images were all over the place. I had a thousand trust badges and my color palette was basically rainbow because the color palette was non-existent. It was all over the place. So today let's break down some design tricks and techniques that e-commerce stores use in general and some techniques that I learned over the years uh, that we all use to sell more products and to increase the conversion rate simply by changing the design of your store. By the way, apologies if the audio is reverberating. I'm currently in a holiday house um, and also if you hear cows mooing in the background, uh, that is exactly the reason. So without further ado, let's jump onto my laptop now and start with WP Standard. So starting with WP Standard, which is a brand that I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe they won a Shopify design award. Changing design techniques or changing design elements really changes the game altogether. It could be the difference between making um, your e-commerce store just a hobby and turning it into a full-time income and passion. One of the things that I noticed straight away is the fact that they have a sticky half here. So as you can see, if you continue scrolling, the buy now and add to cart button and the description is locked in place right here. This is interesting and let's just make sure that this is built with Shopify. So using this tool here, you can see indeed it is built with Shopify. And this is a great technique because what they're selling is apparel. So it's a really visual element. So it's really important that you have a nice gallery in place. And so therefore, if you continue to scroll, it is literally images on images. And that is essentially the focus. You know, product reviews is all the way down at the bottom. And that's only if you do bother to scroll through all the images. That might be slightly a downside because there's less social proof, but they do counteract that with having the uh, reviews up here as well. And you can simply do that through using tools such as Shopify reviews or even looks. So those two tools will help you achieve that. But beyond that, it is really important that you have some sort of a sticky um, button that allows you to directly either add to cart or buy now because you'll be surprised the amount of people that don't actually scroll back up or try to find the add to cart button or buy now button and having less barriers to entry when it comes to purchasing your products will make a world of a difference. So uh, talking about the social proof too, if we scroll all the way down, it's really important that we push customers to provide images when it comes to their reviews. You can simply do this as well if you're just starting out, if you're drop shipping, importing AliExpress review photos, which is really easy to do. And the immediate social proofing and hyperlinking to reviews will really help you uh, increase that conversion rate too. Beyond that, it's just a really clean store. I love the fact that it is so clean and the focus is on its product itself. Even if you look at the description here, even if you look at the features, the dimensions, it's all dot pointed out. And that's something that I use myself. Keep it uh, simple, stupid, K-I-S-S. -S. And so yeah, it's really clean and this helps with choice paralysis. So really the intention here is just to focus on picking the color, potentially adding monogram and then adding to cart or buy now. Direct buy now button, really important too. Overall, I really like this page because it's simple. Um, in its words, you know, simple in its design equals less distractions, equals focus on conversion. And uh, this only works for proven and quality products. Uh, so make sure that you do test your products first and ensure that you know it is actually selling before you put this much effort into a product page. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet already. Your boy's in a holiday house, but I thought it's still important to deliver value uh, to the community and produce content for you guys. So just a small thumbs up would be appreciated. All right, so moving on to the next door now, we'll take a look at Gymshark. So I'm sure most of you know Gymshark, now a multi-billion dollar company. Absolutely insane. They are also hosted on Shopify, as you can see here. And now, here are a few elements uh, that, similar to the previous store, they employ to really increase conversions. And, you know, 
their revenue speaks for itself really. So first things first, they are an apparel company. So they also sell, you know, gym gear, apparel, t-shirts, that sort of stuff. So photos, photos are front and center. They are the, you know, the focus point here. And they again have a similar, you know, three quarters to half by half setup, as you can see here. So the images take up really three quarters of the page rather than half and half. But uh, this again is something that I don't really recommend until you actually build a following, um, build a product that is proven. Until then, you really wanna focus on copywriting. They can get away with basically next to no copywriting unless you click these drop down menus here because they're an established brand and because uh, they have a large um, following. So if you look down here, they do have copy here. Again, they do dot point everything out, which is extremely important. Um, and when it comes to apparel, they also have a sizing guide, which is, uh, you know, if you don't have that, that, that is basically suicide when it comes to print on demand. So you can find that sizing guide just by clicking this as a pop-up and it's very clear. So that in itself, you'd be surprised again, that is a huge uh, conversion rate increaser. So the other thing is, again, it's also, everything is neat. There's a drop down menu for absolutely everything. You know, you don't want to clutter the, the entire space. One of the things that I do see when it comes to, um, when it comes to e-commerce stores, particularly drop shipping stores, is they have paragraphs upon paragraphs upon paragraphs of copy. And this is something you want to avoid. If you look at the e-commerce stores that are working, and just deploy some competitor analysis, then you'll realize that the copy is minimal. That being said, the copy, the copy that is minimal is also very efficient. You just need to say what you need to say and deploy some ad psychology in there, copywriting psychology, and you'll be set. So moving on, uh, you can see here, again, they do have the feature icons, which I said is really important, and they really are. Beyond that, if I zoom in here, you can see here that they have an Afterpay logo. And this is something that I mentioned like years ago before Afterpay was even a huge company. Afterpay and being able to make payment installments will be a huge benefit to your e-commerce store. Uh, so having Afterpay there and not just Afterpay, but uh, payment options beyond just your credit card and PayPal, it's extremely beneficial to your store too. All right, now moving on to the next store. We'll be talking about Grove Made. This is a, beyond just the brand that they've created, I absolutely love their products and I love uh, their brand overall and their brand marketing. And I actually got a few of their products which I will review in future videos. But let's do something a little bit, bit different here. Let's check out their mobile, uh, their mobile website. Let's take a look here actually. Let's open up iPhone X and let's take a look at this because these days e-commerce is really a mobile first game. Most of your traffic, well not most, about 50% of your traffic will come through mobile. That's absolutely insane, right? So you really need to be optimizing and being wary of your store and optimizing towards mobile users. So let's check out this store uh, over mobile. So this is a bit different because this isn't just the product page, this is more a collections page. And collection pages are extremely useful when it comes to selling your product. You'd be surprised and this is a great example of that. So let's take a look here. So if we scroll down, you can see here that they immediately introduce the, the uh, item that the product that they're featuring, they're selling as a lifestyle image, which is extremely important. Lifestyle images, particularly when it's a high ticket item, even a mid tier ticket item, is uh, feature images in lifestyle elements. Extremely, extremely important. The dash shelf system, it introduces the product. It is extremely clean. You can immediately click shop now to go onto the product page. Here's something that I really like they have a animation and animations and gifs again is something so easy to implement into your shopify description but you'd be surprised about just how effective animations and gifs are if you have a product that is 
a little more complicated to explain or has multiple features and is not just, let's say, a t-shirt or a hoodie, GIFs and animations are a great, great way to demonstrate the product capabilities and not just the features, but the benefits. So you can see here, the benefit that they're focusing on is a tidy life, product, a productive desk. You know, you can see the, you know, it really tends to the OCD in me personally, where you have a cluttered life, cluttered desk, and you're easily able to, uh, you know, declutter and de-stress your entire life. And you, this is shown in just one simple, one simple animation. If that's all they had, you know, I'd still be extremely interested and I'd be going down the marketing funnel from here. So going down some more, again, they have more animations and more videos. So I should mention as well, videos have a very similar effect to animations. So videos and animations, and this is what studies show, consumers are 64 to 85% more likely to purchase from your page if you have a decent animation or a decent video. Just think about that. If you have issues selling your current product, chances are you don't have a decent animation or video on your product page. So think about that. Think about deploying a video or animation on your uh, product page because it's gonna change the game for you. So there's also a thing though, you know, going through this a little bit more. So now we finally hit the products itself. There is a thing called image fatigue. So you do need to balance it out and not you know, just bombard people with images and videos because they're gonna get tired of it pretty soon. You do need to balance it out with some copy here and there. As you can see, it's not just images upon images upon videos and animations. It is broken out with a company text. All right, so let's move on now to the next store. And this is not just a store, it's Amazon. And Amazon is a great, great case study because Amazon deploys so many psychologically demanding, psychologically attractive features and tricks and buttons. Let's take a look at it. The first thing that I wanna point out is this buy now button. And we saw it earlier in the WP standard store. And this buy now button is known to increase profits and revenue by 30%. And that's absolutely crazy. Um, so if you don't have a buy now button and not just a buy now button, but a buy now button sticky, you should look into it because it is really effective. And I can say that by experience too. So having the psychology of really quick buys instead of having to add to card and then review your card and then finally going to the checkout process, just cutting that process into a simple two-step process, you'll be surprised. Again, I've been saying surprise a lot, but again, you'll be surprised that uh, that buy now button will really increase your sales and conversion rate uh, simply by cutting out the steps that the customer needs to take. There's another thing here, as you can see, uh, let's talk about the price here because we haven't talked about the price yet. Price anchoring or otherwise known as, well, specifically in this store, we don't see it. And this is essentially price comparison. Um, even if it's a fractional discount, there is so much cross-selling that happens here. You are bombarded with frequently bought together items, customers who viewed this item also viewed other items, you know, upselling, downselling, even during the cart. This is a big part of Amazon's strategy. And this is something that is used across e-commerce as well because it's so effective. When you're setting up your store and you're setting up your ads, you're so focused on intentionally just making that sale for just one product. But actually, so many people, they look beyond just that product. The chances of them actually going on and buying a different product altogether is quite high. So having a system of upselling and cross-selling is, you know, it's a no-brainer. You have to implement that into your e-commerce store. Even if you have a one product store, you can manage that through, you know, bundling items, for instance. So going all the way down, let's take a look at the infamous, infamous reviews. Amazon reviews, everyone knows about this. This is Social Proof 101. 
Yes, there is going to be a balance of one star reviews to five star reviews, but overall, uh, you know, unless you have a really, really bad item and you're not making any sort of effort to collect reviews, which is extremely important by the way, if you make an effort to collect reviews and provide an incentive to leave a review, chances are they will leave a four to five star review. And now overarching, looking at all of these stores, no doubt all of these stores will have a uh, cart abandonment system. So a systematic process to gain those uh, customers back. So be sure to take a look into that. Um, but deploying some of these tricks as it is, no doubt will increase your conversion rate, even if by a fraction 0.05% increase, that is more money in your pocket. So if you enjoyed these sorts of tips, these sorts of uh, rapid fire implementation tricks, then I'm gonna leave a link down below in this video to a newsletter that you can sign up to. It's basically a newsletter where I share my digital marketing and e-commerce tricks tips. So feel free to sign up and there is a sign up bonus as well. So I'll let you uh, check out that landing page and feel free to sign up with your email there to gain those free tricks tips and uh, more details on how to improve your e-commerce store and your digital marketing. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. In the meantime, I'm gonna leave useful videos somewhere on screen here. Until next week's video, on this channel, we go over e-commerce, digital marketing, everything online business. So if that interests you, make sure that you subscribe. And until this next video, as always, thanks for watching and keep on hustling.